Welcome back to F1 Report, everyone. That is the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in the bag, and that is the season done as well. It would have been nice to go out with a bit more of a bang. I think I, along with everyone else, found this race quite boring compared to what we've been given the rest of this year, honestly. But hey-ho, that's how it goes sometimes. Let's start by taking a look at the race results before getting stuck into the talking points and a final look at our Drivers' and Constructors' Championship tables. For our results, in first we had Verstappen making sure Red Bull end on a positive note. In second was Mercedes of Bottas, followed by his teammate Hamilton in third. In fourth was Albon. Norris was in fifth with his teammate Sainz in sixth. Ricardo took seventh. Gasly eighth. Ocon ninth. And Stroll rounded out the top ten. Kvyat finished in 11th, Raikkonen 12th, Leclerc 13th, ahead of Vettel in 14th, Russell in 15th, Giovinazzi in 16th, Latifi in 17th, Magnussen 18th, and our final runner was Fittipaldi in 19th. Our one and only DNF this race was Perez. So, now we know the results, let's get stuck into the main talking points for the race. And don't worry, there wasn't many. Before we take a look at our final standings. It was a race light on action and on instance. Our first big one was the one that robbed us of something potentially special again. Perez's engine died in the early stages as he was making his way through the field. Having started from the back again. Oh boy, imagine if he'd done it again. Come from the back of the grid to challenge the front. That would have been amazing once again, but sadly not this time. Ricardo also pulled off a good strategy to propel himself up the order. He stayed out when the virtual safety car came out and then went really long on his soft tyres, allowing him to jump a few places. Very clever. The main thrust of the race was who could take third place in the Constructors Championship. Unfortunately, because Perez went out so early, we didn't get that fight that we hoped for, but the McLarens were very controlled and spent much of the time on their own, while the Renaults and the lone racing point were fighting towards the back end of the top 10. This resulted in that fight being a bit of a dull one, honestly. Now I have to question myself here, was the bad luck for Perez and Racing Point because I picked them as my driver and team to watch? It's been a long time since I jinxed anything and I thought I was going to end away with it, but I feel like I might have to apologise to him for this one. Let's take a look at that Constructors Championship table to see how things ended and see who's confirmed in that third spot as well, crucially. Our champions Mercedes ended on 573 points, with Red Bull very safe in second with 319 points. It was of course McLaren who took that all important third spot with a brilliant result with 202 points. A racing point who missed out, they were in fourth with 195 points, and Renault who had that outside chance in fifth with 181 points. Ferrari stayed on their 131 points, while Alpha Tauri ended in 7th on 107 points. Alpha Romeo finished best of the bottom teams with 8 points, then Haas on 3 points, and Williams did not score this season. Let's hope that changes next season, eh? In the Drivers' Championship, our winner Hamilton ended on 347 points. Bottas held on to 2nd place with 223 points. Verstappen very nearly caught him though with 214 points. Very close. Perez, despite not finishing in the race, stayed in fourth in the championship with 125 points. Ricardo ended in fifth with 119 points. Really outdriving that Renault. Very good to see. Sainz ended his late season charge in sixth place with 105 points. He's tied with Albon on that number. Leclerc falls two places to 8th with what, 98 points. Just one point behind him is Norris in 9th with 97 points. And Gasly takes a 10th spot with 75 points. So that's the 2020 season over. I'm going to be doing a season in review video that looks at the season as a whole. Picking out the good bits, the bad bits and the forgotten bits. So stay tuned for that and subscribe if that's something you'd like to see. But what did you guys think of this race? Is there anything you would have liked to have seen in our final race for the 2020 season? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.